Hi again, everyone. I am Kelly Speaks Buckman, and today I am joined by Mary Ellen Micah from Steelcase, our partner in the Better Buildings, Better Plants, Low Carbon Pilot. Mary Ellen, thank you for joining me today. Thanks, Kelly, for the opportunity. We really appreciate it. So first question, Mary Ellen, why is decarbonization so important to your organization? I would say sustainability overall is what's very, very important to Steelcase. We're a company that's more than 100 years old and our founding families were known for their environmentalism. Most recently, what we did in terms of decarbonization is we made a commitment to science-based targets. We set a target that by 2030, we will be reducing our absolute emissions um, by 50%. That's really exciting. Next question is, who really are your stakeholders or customers? Are, are they thinking about decarbonization in the same way? So we do have a very broad set of stakeholders, suppliers, customers, employees, the communities in which we live and work, and our shareholders. And I would say our stakeholders are at all different points in this process. We have some who are already, you know, very committed on their own to setting science-based targets. We have individuals who are very much into the cause, and we have others who are hoping to become more educated. And I'm sure there are some who, who know very little about the subject. We'd love to ask you, what are some of the most exciting projects or the one most exciting project that Steelcase has gotten itself involved with? We've had some really interesting projects um, as part of the low carbon pilot. And we really appreciate being able to work with experts from DOE on these projects over the years. And we're looking forward to some really big projects in order to meet our new 50% reduction goals. And those are likely to include installation of on-site renewables. One of the projects that really helped reduce carbon emissions for us was a project at our wood furniture manufacturing plant. So that's a plant that's almost a million square feet. And when it was first designed and built, it was actually the world's first LEED certified manufacturing facility. And that was back in 2001. Now that was actually before LEED had stringent energy efficiency requirements. So we had regular uh, metal halide lamping throughout the plant. We also had some T8 lighting throughout the plant. So we proposed a relighting project and we were surprised that once we did install the new lighting, we actually had so many benefits from it, including better matching, better veneer selection and grading. And the reason for that was the LED lights are actually much brighter, even though they use a lot less energy and they also don't give off heat. It's improved our overall craftsmanship. We're able to identify slight errors and things that we weren't able to see in the past with the poor lighting. It's very important that we keep the humidity and temperature constant in that plant. And the original lighting was adding a fair amount of heat. It's made a difference in terms of just the quality of our overall products, and it's saving us over $185,000 a year in terms of energy savings too. But with that large scope of work and ambition, the high ambition that you all have, you must have some challenges that you're worried about in reducing carbon emissions. We'd love to hear some of the challenges that you see. I see a lot of challenges. We can't get to this 50% reduction in our greenhouse gas emissions in our operations by just having energy efficiency projects, we're going to have to do much more than that. We know capital investments will be required. In terms of suppliers, we are hoping to get really good supplier cooperation. We know people are going to have to change habits and, you know, perhaps adjust to reduced business travel because we've set goals according to reducing greenhouse gas emissions with that travel. We know we'll have to improve our scrap management and recycling processes. It'll be a challenge, but I think uh, we're up to it. That's awesome. What would you say to other organizations that are considering this work? Well, I would definitely encourage other companies to do the same. It's extremely important from a time perspective that we all act quickly. Steelcase also is a supplier to our customers. And because of that, many of our customers who are setting their own science-based targets look to us to help them meet their scope three emission targets. So 
It's really a wonderful ripple effect when we do make these kinds of commitments. For me, I feel better about knowing that I can actually have some influence beyond our four walls here at Steelcase. I certainly would encourage others to get engaged as well. Well, thank you, Mary Ellen. Um, we are all in this together and we appreciate your partnership in this and we appreciate your words of wisdom that you've shared today. Thank you, Kelly. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity.